this is the start of our coffee mug project. We're going to be using our oil-based paint pen again and our trusty, trusty pencil. Um, again, what I like to do for this kind of stuff is um, figure out one, what you want to put on the mug, and two, how you want to format it. Um, and you, you, can, you can do anything from a script to just print um, and maybe do a couple drawings and like decorative elements around it, whatever you want to do. Um, but for this one, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to have it say good morning um, and maybe put like a little tea bag off the side or something. So we're going to take our pencil and just kind of sketch out what our font is going to look like. Um, I think I'm going to do print letters for the good. And then script morning. I think I want it to be bouncy again. So. you have the freedom and flexibility to erase what you don't like, embellish what you do like. Pencil is pretty wonderful. And I think, let's see, I kind of want to fill in this space down here. Um, I don't know what to draw. <laughs> we'll just do a couple of leaves. All right. Oh, and I should probably draw the leaves too. about stuff like this is it really doesn't have to be symmetrical, um, doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you can make it however you like. Alright, so now I'm going to take my paint pen, make sure it's been primed, which it looks like it has, and then begin to trace over my pencil. About doing this on a black mug is that your white ink not only covers your pencil um, but shows up extremely well whereas on the sign that we use it on it's you have to do a couple coats of it to get it to show
You want to make sure not to touch the side of it like I just did as you're turning it. to rest my wrist on the table because I have shaky hands um, and that that helps get those smooth lines over um, our downstrokes again. Um, I'm actually going to start turning it to make it a little bit easier. And I use my the fine point of my marker. I actually want this to go a little lower anyway. as you finish like one element to the next you'll notice where you can put different things and kind of develop your own style and figure out what you want but there we have it 